I'm in the mood for a rich, delicious soup. Basic ingredients, virtually no effort, and absolutely sensational. Let's make a pea potato and bacon soup on The One Pot Chef. Into a large pot, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil. And over a medium heat, I'm gonna add in one brown onion, which I've just chopped up, and two cloves of crushed garlic. And we're gonna cook that stirring for about two to three minutes or until the onions are nice and softened. Next, we're adding in our potatoes, one kilo of potatoes, washed, peeled, and chopped. Give them a good stir so they get nicely coated with that onion and garlic and oil. Next, we're adding in our stock. I'm using chicken stock today, but you could also use vegetable stock or beef stock, depending on your personal preference. I'm putting in one liter or four cups. I'm also adding in two cups of water. Season with some salt and some pepper. Give that a nice stir. Increase the temperature to medium high. Put the lid on and allow this to come to the boil. Once the soup is boiling, we're just going to allow this to simmer with the lid slightly off for about 20 minutes or until the potatoes are nice and tender. Add in two cups of frozen peas. Stir them through and allow that to simmer for a couple of minutes and then we'll be ready to blend this up. You can blend the soup in batches, just allow the soup to cool slightly, then transfer it in batches into your blender, blend it up until it's nice and smooth. But I'm gonna go for the easier route. I'm gonna use my stick blender and blend it straight in the pot. Lovely. Now, if you blended up the soup in just a regular standard blender, just pop the soup back into the pot and heat it up for another few minutes till it's nice and piping hot, and then we'll be ready to serve. Before we serve the soup, I'm just gonna fry up a little bit of bacon. I've just got a couple of slices of shortcut bacon, which I've just diced up in little pieces. And we're just gonna fry this in a fry pan by itself. No need to add any oil or anything until the bacon is nice and browned and crisp. And then we can scatter it over the soup. A Little bit of that beautiful diced bacon over the top of the soup. And this beautiful winter warmer is ready to eat. This smells absolutely incredible and I love the smell of the bacon, so time to have a little taste. Mmm. Oh, yum. <laughs> wow. The potato and the pea are so wonderful together because they just blend and become this beautiful, thick, creamy soup. You've got undertones from the chicken. And then the bacon on top gives you that crispy texture, but you get that nice, sharp saltiness it's absolutely amazing. Your bacon is of course entirely optional, but it's absolutely amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com and until next time, see you later. This recipe makes a huge batch of soup, so you can have it for lunch or for dinner and whatever's left over, you can just pack into Tupperware and freeze until the next time you feel like soup. Doesn't take long to defrost and you've just got to heat it up. Cheers.